what are some of the things that that you as staff do sort of behind the what are the behind the scenes magic that you have to do to make it all work <laughs> well there's a lot of hard work and there's a lot of discussion i mean and that's and that's not unique to our school that's every education service in the world i would hope but i think we work very hard at relationship building as as a staff um, and that's really important and um, because that breathes into the rest of the school as well that's not to say that we're all in agreement and and you know um, everything is easy and wonderful and, and helpful all the time we do challenge each other a lot and i think that's also really important as well in a school like this that has so many different kinds of people and so many ideas and we're all welcome and allowed to have those ideas there's often a lot of conflict in terms of opposing ideas and it's great that we can all sit around and sometimes spend hours <laughs> discussing them but then finally coming to agreements or you know or or getting new understandings of each other and just being able to put those new perspectives into the curriculum and into the the lessons with the kids and stuff like that so we we are here with the children throughout the day and we often have meetings beforehand where we, we sit down. It might be two people, it might be the whole staff, but we do make sure that every week we speak as a whole staff and we're all invited to share personal things, professional things, challenges, wins, any issues or anything that they need help problem solved as well. Mm -hmm. so that real collaboration, that cohesiveness really takes us... Mm -hmm. I think yeah. we were, it's an extremely supportive environment and it, we're all very understanding of, you know, the pressures that we have outside of the school as well with in our own, you know, families and our own lives. There's a lot of flexibility. So, you know, we've, we've had, I mean, just this last couple of years, a couple of staff members sort of needing to go part-time for various different reasons. And so, you know, that, that, goes into discussion and uh, certainly it's something that the school council as the governing body needs to be privy to and, and okay but at the same time there's there's an understanding and sympath sympathetic attitude towards the need for that i you know we socialize outside of school you know so there's there's a closeness between some staff members where where they're friends and so there's a relationship that's that's that happens outside of the scene that that supports those relationships because that provides opportunity for time to offload time to be a supportive you know friend it's a small staff and so that's that's really important that we're sort of and and it's not to say that yeah as olivia said that it hasn't been without its challenges over the years <laughs> with different staff members that's just life how many staff do you have uh we've got five primary teachers at the moment no six with me and there's three in the office, three preschool teachers. We have two assistants, uh, a Spanish teacher and a craft teacher and a music teacher. Mm -hmm. Wow. 16, 17. Yeah. yeah. And we've got some really great relief staff that are very close to our school and they're often here as well. So have them in there too. They're part of that community and nice. you'll often see them running around too. Very cool. Yeah. Small staff, but um, and we're, we all are very close. We all sort of try and, and make sure that we have those social situations as well, just to keep the the, the balance, I suppose, between um, you know the nitty gritty of stuff and and living life and being happy in what you do. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world. Where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.